What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Tatum Meister, back. And, yeah, I'm doing a movie review. Uh, sorry I've been posting videos as of late. I've been quite busy at work. But on the weekends, I have some free time, so, yeah. Might as well use the free time. Anyway, so today we'll be reviewing Rambo Last Blood. The newest Rambo, and supposedly the final Rambo movie? I could be wrong. Yes, I also will be reviewing Ad Astra tomorrow, and I'll also be also be ranking the uh, five Rambo films. That'll be a later video, but today we're going to be reviewing Rambo: Last Blood. So, what are my general thoughts of Rambo: Last Blood? Well, it was freaking awesome, but it had its noticeable flaws for sure. I mean, granted, all the Rambo movies have their noticeable flaws. I mean, they're Rambo movies; they're not really supposed to be, you know, serious or <laughs> not really supposed to be masterpieces but there's there's awesome movies they're entertaining and if i had to rank this movie i'd say it's in the middle it's better than rambo 4 and 3 but it's not as good as rambo 1 and 2 rambo last blood is pretty much the middle movie and it's it's a great finale to the series but i don't consider it a finale and in fact it doesn't really feel like one and i'll explain that in a bit but um yeah so if you want the general plot rambo last blood is pretty much about Rambo's niece. Rambo's niece gets kidnapped by these Mexican cartel guys. Rambo. Okay, I might have to spoil the movie for for really giving my in depth thoughts. So that from now on, there's spoilers. If you don't want to get spoiled, please click out the video. I will reveal some spoilers here. So, um, I've been doing that a lot more reviews lately. So sorry if I spoil the movie, but there's some things I have to talk about. So, okay, so let's continue. Rambo's niece, who apparently wasn't in any other movie, and. I guess Rambo had a sister. I, I don't remember that. But anyway, was that in Rambo 4? I don't know. So yeah, this takes place 10 years after the last one, obviously. So 10 years after Rambo 4, also known as Rambo. Uh, so basically, Rambo's niece gets kidnapped by these Mexican cartel people, and she dies. Basically, like, they drug her up and she dies, basically. Sorry if that's a spoiler, but yeah, I already warned you the spoiler, so... And so Rambo's pissed off. He's like, that's it, that's it. So he goes after the cartel people and he kills them all. And that's pretty much the general plot of the movie. <laughs> I don't know how more I can really describe. It's a very simple plot, but it's it's Rambo. I mean, it, it, they're simple movies. I mean, Rambo just goes on a killing spree and kills people. That's pretty much the plot of every movie, right? You come you come to expect what happens. I mean, really what, what really makes this movie shine is the third act. But the first two acts of the movie definitely drag on and they definitely could have made this movie shorter or added more action to it i don't know the, i think the general problem with rambo last blood is there's not enough action like there was in the first two rambo movies or even the rambo 4 I, I can admit rambo 4 even had more action to it now the plot of the movie is better than rambo 4 because rambo 4 was kind of lacking a plot really a, a constructive plot granted it was still better than rambo 3 i think rambo 3 is the worst one it's just random and completely doesn't just doesn't it's not as good as the first two rambo 3 is just a bad movie in, in a couple ways i still like rambo 3 but i don't know it's definitely the worst one out of the out of the rambo movies um i don't remember anything from rambo 3 really well, what the hell happened in that one i don't know anyway so rambo last blood truly was an awesome movie though i mean here's the pros about rambo last blood now the, the third act is definitely the best part if you get to the ending it, it is phenomenal like Rambo goes ham on these on these Mexican cartel guys. I mean, he does not show mercy. He just goes completely brutal ham on them. Like, and it's the, the Rambo we all know and love. He just goes brutal ham on these guys, and it's epic. Like, it's just epic. That last part of the movie, that third act, is just phenomenal. Like, bro, I think the movie, let me, I got to see how long the movie is actually. Okay, so Rambo: Last Blood is actually really short. It's only an hour and thirty nine minutes, but it. It did feel longer than it was, though. I feel like, I don't know. Like, the last 20 minutes of the movie are phenomenal, but the first hour of it, it's kind of like, eh, it drags on. I don't know. Really, once once his niece dies, that's where it gets really good. But before that, it's kind of like just a lot of exposition and a lot of stuff that wasn't really, I don't know. It just, the first two acts are not that good. I'll just say right off the bat. But if you make it to the ending, it is phenomenal. The ending is phenomenal, but... I think the main issue with the movie is the first two acts. The first two acts could have been shorter or added more action to it or... I don't know. It just didn't feel as good as the first two Rambo movies. I mean, that's just me, but, you know. Um, Alright, so... I kind of forgot what I was talking about, honestly. So, Rambo Last Blood. I mean, it's a Rambo movie. <laughs> What'd you come to expect? The Rambo movies, they're all just cool in their own way even rambo 3 which i think is kind of lame but this this one was kind of cool now 
the first I think another issue with Rainbow Last Blood is the pacing. It does get a little weird at points. I don't know. Like it does get a little I don't know. There's just parts about it that were just weird. Like the part where Rambo gets quartered by those guys. I'm like, Rambo, are you a dumbass? Like why the frick? Like didn't you just couldn't you just found a way out of that? Like I don't know. It's just some parts of it didn't make any sense. Like, bro, I don't know. It, there were some story elements and there were some pacing elements and there were some Things, a lot of mainly the issues with the first two acts of the movie. The first two acts, apparently, there's this alternate opening I didn't know about. I want to see that alternate opening, that sounds great. Where there's a lot of action and cool stuff going on in the first op alternate opening. I want to see that. I hope they release that on DVD. I guess I don't know, but I don't know. I, I don't think there's a lot of issues with Rainbow Last Blood. It's just a really cool, enjoyable movie. I mean, it's not perfect, it's not gonna blow your mind or anything but it's a really great awesome movie i mean it's definitely an, it, it's in the 8 to, to 8.9 tier i'm gonna give this movie an 8.7 out of 10 i mean yeah it has its flaws yeah it's rambo and yeah it's kind of crazy and brutal and you know ridiculous but it's freaking rambo what you come to expect and i do think this movie is a pretty cool finale to the series now i i do think there's gonna be another movie i feel like this doesn't this isn't the ending mainly because it just doesn't feel like an ending to me. Like, it feels like a new beginning, honestly. Like, Rambo kind of just, you know, it doesn't feel like a full ending to me. Like, I mean, he beats the Mexican cartel, does with the he kills everybody, people in every freaking movie. I don't see this as an ending, but okay. If it is the ending, I really love this series, and I like the ending credits. The ending credits were great. And I really like this movie a lot. I don't think it's the best finale. I don't think it's the worst. I think it's a good finale. Just like I thought about, uh, what's it? Star Wars Force Evil finale or deck or what's another one? I mean, there's other finales that are worse and there's other finales that are better, but this one did a good job, I gotta say. So thank you all for watching. Tatameister signing out. Bye bye.